Alright, I think we're going to close out the last of our uh, uh, side mission that we're really wanting to do right now. And then we'll jump back into the main story. Oh, I got to find out where I got to go first, don't I? Various. Uh, oh. Wait, two things of various. Yeah. Go to the facility first. You got that. Maroon C cluster. I wonder if it's gonna shoot. Yeah, we're gonna we got Gerald again. But all fairs, okay. here. That didn't give me any Milky Way.
right, right next to me. Okay. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. That means... Going in! Whatever that is, first though. I keep saying that I gotta get old girl that equipment. in there? No. Okay. Good to know.
I didn't know if I was going to deal with that. That's funny. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First you're gonna tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. 
so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. What did you expect? You couldn't really believe those things were safe. We knew there were risks, but I thought we'd taken all the necessary precautions. I didn't mean for this to happen. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Too many people died here. Their blood is on your hands. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! I do like that shotgun. So, let's head back. Welcome to the stream. Just doing some uh, side missions here. Alright. Journal. So. The Matano system, number three cluster. Okay, well, we're already there in the cluster so tunnel system Check the map here. Anomaly. Inspector. Alright, huh? Check out the structures first.
I've got a bad feeling about this. Human. What am I looking at? Oh, pass the other way. No, that's not what I'm looking at. What was I looking at? Come on, back here. Ship. Where did Mike go?
cool. This was a stupid room. Uh, there's literally nothing in here. in here. Alright. There's that last facility and then that'll probably be it. armor in that one. Right. I think the last one was a big one. This one doesn't seem to have a whole bunch of shit in it. Assault rifle, though. Uh, not bad what I got, though.
These are all relatively pretty easy to do. Sure. Nope, nope, not what I wanted to do. That's just an anomaly, yeah. Okay. Back to the Normandy. I'm gonna check my journal here. I think that was the last what I was gonna do there. I'm not real inclined to do that or that. Yep. Yep, those are all the missions I'm gonna do. Uh, should have a decent amount of time left. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to all my party members here. I don't think any new conversations will come up, but... I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. How could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. 
She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Hmm. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I think that's what you always tell when I'm entering the room, or I actually do. Uh, you know what? That, that, well, I got two of them, so yeah, you can have one. those rifles. I don't have anything for you, except for that. Well, I guess.
I ever equip heavy armor? No. Oh, maybe tactical armor. Nope. Still can't. Okay. Commander? We'll talk later, Williams. But just Looking forward to it, Skipper. I do story missions. Uh, check on Tally real quick. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should nope. go. See you later. Yep, so the next one we'll get back into the main missions. I'm gonna start with this one here. And probably work our way up. I think this is like the end all no turning back mission. So but we'll start with that one and then go on. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoyed the stream. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.